In mathematics, a matrix norm is a natural extension of the notion of a vector norm to matrices. Definition, in what follows, will denote the field of real or complex numbers. Let denote the vector space containing all matrices with rows and columns with entries in. Throughout the article denotes the conjugate transpose of matrix. A matrix norm is a vector norm on. That is, if denotes the norm of the matrix, then. If, for all in and all matrices in, for all matrices and in, additionally, in the case of square matrices, some matrix norms satisfy the following condition, which is related to the fact that matrices are more than just vectors, for all matrices and in, a matrix norm that satisfies this additional property is called a submultiplicative norm. The set of all n by n matrices, together with such a submultiplicative norm, is an example of a Banach algebra. Induced norm. If vector norms on Km and Km are given, then one defines the corresponding induced norm or operator norm on the space of m by n matrices as the following maxima. The operator norm corresponding to the p norm for vectors is. These are different from the intrawise p norms and the Shatten p norms for matrices treated below, which are also usually denoted by, in the case of and, the norms can be computed as, which is simply the maximum absolute column sum of the matrix which is simply the maximum absolute row sum of the matrix. For example, if the matrix A is defined by, then we have A1 equals max, minus 3 plus 2 plus 0, 5 plus 6 plus 2, 7 plus 4 plus 8, equals max, 5, 13, 19, equals 19 and AA equals max, minus 3 plus 5 plus 7, 2 plus 6 plus 4, 0 plus 2 plus 8, equals max, 15, 12, 10, equals 15. In the special case of P equals 2 and M equals N, the induced matrix norm is the spectral norm. The spectral norm of a matrix A is the largest singular value of A that is the square root of the largest eigenvalue of the positive semidefinite matrix A A, where A denotes the conjugate transpose of A. More generally, one can define the subordinate matrix norm on induced by on, and on as. Subordinate norms are consistent with the norms that induce them, giving any induced operator norm is a submultiplicative matrix norm since and any induced norm satisfies the inequality where I, A, is the spectral radius of A. For a symmetrical Hermitian matrix, we have equality for the two norm, since in this case the two norm is the spectral radius of. For an arbitrary matrix, we may not have equality for any norm. Take the spectral radius of a zero, but is not the zero matrix, and so none of the induced norms are equal to the spectral radius of. Furthermore, for square matrices we have the spectral radius formula. In treewise norms, these vector norms treat a matrix as a vector of size, and use one of the familiar vector norms. For example, using the p norm for vectors, we get this is a different norm from the induced p norm and the Shatten p norm, but the notation is the same. The special case p equals 2 is the Frobenius norm, and p equals a yields the maximum norm. L2, one norm, let be the columns of matrix. The norm is a sum of Euclidean norm of columns. Note here the two indexes of are treated differently. All matrix norms introduced prior to the L2, one norm treat the two indexes symmetrically. L2, one norm is widely used in robust data analysis and sparse coding for feature selection. L2, one norm is later generalized into norm. Frobenius norm. For Q equals 2, this is called the Frobenius norm or the Hilberta Euro Schmidt norm, though the latter term is often reserved for operators on Hilbert space. This norm can be defined in various ways. Where A denotes the conjugate transpose of A, I flora and I are the singular values of A, and the trace function is used. The Frobenius norm is similar to the Euclidean norm on Kn and comes from the Frobenius inner product on the space of all matrices. The Frobenius norm is submultiplicative and is very useful for numerical linear algebra. This norm is often easier to compute than induced norms and has the useful property of being invariant under rotations. This property follows easily from the trace definition restricted to real matrices, 
where we have used the orthogonal nature of P, and the cyclic nature of the trace. More generally the norm is invariant under a unitary transformation for complex matrices. Max norm, the max norm is the elementwise norm with P equals A. This norm is not submultiplicative. Shatten norms. The Shatten P norms arise when applying the P norm to the vector of singular values of a matrix. If the singular values are denoted by I florin I, then the Shatten P norm is defined by. These norms again share the notation with the induced and entrywise P norms, but they are different. All Shatten norms are submultiplicative. They are also unitarily invariant which means that A equals U A V for all matrices A and all unitary matrices U and V. The most familiar cases are P equals 1, 2, A. The case P equals 2 yields the Frobenius norm, introduced before. The case P equals A yields the spectral norm, which is the matrix norm induced by the vector 2 norm. Finally, P equals 1 yields the nuclear norm, defined as here denotes a positive semi-definite matrix such that. More precisely, since it's a positive semi-definite matrix, its square root is well defined. Consistent norms, a matrix norm on is called consistent with a vector norm on and a vector norm on if. For all. All induced norms are consistent by definition. Compatible norms, a matrix norm on is called compatible with a vector norm on if. For all. Induced norms are compatible by definition. Equivalence of norms, for any two vector norms and, we have. For some positive numbers are and s, for all matrices are a in. In other words, all norms on are equivalent. They induce the same topology on. This is true because the vector sparse shear has the finite dimension a. Moreover, for every vector norm a on, there exists a unique positive real number as such that is a submultiplicative matrix norm for every. A submultiplicative matrix norm is said to be minimal if there exists no other submultiplicative matrix norm satisfying. Examples of norm equivalence, for matrix or rank, the following inequalities hold. Here, refers to the matrix norm induced by the vector P norm. Another useful inequality between matrix norms is. Notes. References, James W. Demel, Applied Numerical Linear Algebra, Section 1.7, published by Siam, 1997. Carl D. Mayer, Matrix Analysis and Applied Linear Algebra, published by Siam, 2000. 1. John Watrous, Theory of Quantum Information, 2.3 Norms of Operators, Lecture Notes, University of Waterloo, 2011. Kendall Atkinson. An Introduction to Numerical Analysis, published by John Wiley & Sons, Incorporated 1989.